In this video, I'll show you how to scan multiple pages of a document and combine them in one single document, a PDF document on your Mac computer. So let's get started right away. So the first step is to connect your printer to the same Wi-Fi network as your Mac. Both needs to be on the same one. Now, depending on which printer you have, you need to go on the display and go in the settings, connect it to that Wi-Fi, enter the password, and you'll be good to go. Some other printers that don't have any display like this one, only buttons, may require you to download an app on your phone or on your computer to be able to connect the printer to the same Wi-Fi. Once you've done this on your Mac, go on the top left corner and click on the Apple logo. Then select System Settings. Go down on the left side menu and select printers and scanners. You're going to see all the printers and scanners that are currently connected to your Mac. To add a new one, go down this page and you should see down below add printer, scanner or fax. Click on this. A window similar to this one will open and you're going to see all the different printers that are currently connected to the same Wi-Fi as your Mac. Select your printer, make sure it's selected in blue, and then click Add. You don't have to install any driver. You may be asked if you want to install the fax machine of your printer, if it's equipped with one. I'll select No, I don't want that. And now your printer is added to your printers list, to your Mac. Now, how do you scan? Well, many printers have a scanner on the top, a automatic document feeder, a, and a scanner glass like this one. If yours has one of these, it's a lot quicker. What I mean by that is you simply have to take your documents, all of them, okay, I have three pages over here, align them, place them facing up with the top part of your page towards the left side, and glide them over there. I'll show you in just a few seconds what to do on the Mac, but if you want to use the scanner glass and scan each page one by one, don't worry, it's also possible. Place your paper facing down, and now it really depends on which brand you have. This is a, bro this is a broader printer, and you need to find a logo, and I know it's hard to see, but it's it's like a corner, sometimes it's an arrow. One of the corner will have a small logo. You see here there's none and there, there's none too. Once you see that corner with a, again, an arrow, a triangle, something like that, you simply, it simply means that you need to bring the corner of your page to the corner of the scanner with that icon. Both need to be touching. So this is how you know that your paper is aligned with your scanner. Now close the lid. You're going to find the printer you have added to your Mac. Mine is over here. Click on it. And then you're going to see Open Scanner. Go ahead and select Open Scanner. If you do not see Open Scanner, but your printer is equipped with a scanner, it means you need to install a driver. To install the driver of your printer, go on Google, type the name. So in my case, this one is the Broader MFC L2A20DW. And then after that, type Driver. You'll be directed to the official Broader or Canon HP website where well, you'll be able to download the missing driver. But over here I have Open Scanner, so I'll click on it. And then you need to confirm your printer on the left side. Make sure it's the one selected. Okay, your um, printer over here. Perfect. Now you may see no document loaded. If you uh, see this, don't worry, it's not an error really. But if you see a document instead, that document is not saved yet, it's just a preview. On the right side, we have a few settings we can change. So on the top, we have scan mode. And from here, you need to select where you have put your document. If it's the automatic document feeder on the top, you're going to select that. If it's the flatbed, the one I just used. Now, since I have selected mine, it will give me a preview, as I told you, what's on the scan bed. Again, this is not saved. Then we have kind. Do you want your scan to be in color or black and white? We also have resolution. 
you may have more numbers than me, but basically what it means is if you're scanning, let's say, a picture or artwork or a painting where details are very important for you, select the highest number. The highest number of DPI will also mean that it will take more time to scan. If you're scanning at 1500 DPI, it may take one or two minutes. If you're simply scanning text or something that you know, doesn't have that much details. It's not a, a an art piece, let's say 200 DPI is enough, okay? Then under it, you may have used custom size checked. You can uncheck it and input the actual size of your documents. Mine is US letter size, so I'll select this. Orientation, I'll leave it this way since I have put my paper the right way. And then we have scan to select in which folder on your Mac you want this these results to go. Then you have name. You can give this a name. Let's say important document. Okay. And finally, this is the most important settings format. Select PDF and check combine into single document. Perfect. Now we are ready to scan. Press scan. So the first page is getting scanned. All right, it has been scanned and you can see here, but now you wonder, what if I have multiple pages and you, I want to combine them? Well, no problem at this step. Well, you can close this. Don't touch anything over here and simply input your next page you want to add to the document. So I'll remove this. I have two pages here. I'll put the next one the same way. All right. Do not change the name of the document. If the name of the document is the same and you have selected combine into single document, every scan that you'll do, let's press scan for this second page, will go in the same uh, file. So let's wait. And this is the document over here, important document. And now if I open it, you'll see I have two pages, but I can add more. Even if uh, you see a document with two pages, you can continue adding pages by doing the same thing. So don't touch anything there. Remove, add a new page. And over here, I'll click scan. And this is page number three. And if I open the important document now, I'll have three pages and there's no limit. You can add a hundred thousands of pages in one single PDF document by scanning them one by one. So thanks for watching. Once you're done, you can close everything. Leave a like, subscribe, but also comment down below if this was useful. It's always nice to read your comments and I'll see you in the next video. Have a beautiful day.